Well, well, what do we have here? Seems like there's some sort of commotion in the camp. What's happening? Oh, we're packing away to go up to high camp, which is somewhere up there. So, as you can see, we've got a bit more to carry here. I've got my sleeping bag, shoes and ice axe strapped to the bottle of my bottle of my pack, back of my pack. And then we walk up there for a couple of hours. So we'll be Start going up there somewhere. Camp, and then have a go at Sajongo West. So we are here at Zojongo Base Camp, <laughs> ready to go up to our high camp. So Edita and I have our packs absolutely stuffed, full of personal gear. We weren't expecting to load carry, but here we are. We've somehow managed all our personal kit, kit sleeping bags, etc., crampons, axes, all in there, ready to go up to the high camp up there. So luxury down trousers <laughs> for their best base camp. We need one or two luxuries up there. Yes. And we will go somewhere up there to a glacier camp uh, this afternoon and then up to the summit from there. Why the big pack? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Big pack. Can see your pee bottle, sleeping bag. <laughs> where, where are you up to? <clears throat> okay, let's go. Doom doom. And Santosh. Crazy yeah. Imran. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mark is trying to lift the the oh. bag. <laughs> 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 Okay, we're on our way up to high camp. We're load carrying, so I'm a bit tired. <coughs> but we can see our, we're going up to the west peak, but we can see our route up, even right up to the summit of the east peak. So we went kind of up that rib. You can see a snow field there with a, a rib in front of it. We went up that rib, I think, and then up the snow field onto the ridge and then just followed the ridge up to the summit, which is, if I can remember how to operate this thing, there's the summit of Zojongo East, which we climbed yesterday. Come on down. <coughs> this, is, this is Imran's pack. He's just carried it up 700 meters from 5,100 to 5,800. I don't know, he might, might even have had the tent in it for all we know. He's just putting the tent up there. Jesus. So it is about 6.30. In the evening, the sun's about to go down, uh, and we are at high camp on Sojongo, which we're amazed to discover is an astonishing 5,800 meters. So we have actually only got about 500 meters to ascend around the corner and then up to the. Uh, hey. but that was that was the east peak that we ascended yesterday. And so we only have about 500 meters to go up to this one today. And <laughs> here is our tent. <laughs> and there is Adita. And we are Everything feeling good. good. Excellent. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. We're so lucky to be here. Okay. <clears throat> Mark, where are you going? Up that way. 
What's that way? So John go west. Yeah. It's about about 500 meters up that glacier. What time is it? Uh, it's about 5:15. Okay. So have about 45 minutes, then the sun will start to come up. Feeling so, good? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Great. Those are a little cold, but otherwise fine. Fantastic. Here's a. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Somewhere in India. <laughs> meters from the summit. So it will bite hard today. <coughs> oh money for So that's all we could do today. Total weight out of our peak. Under that, just like you that. So our ascent attempt on. So John go west, turned it out, turned up, turned out being a bit more epic than we thought. Came up there, you can't even see where we've come now. Uh, Lots of snow, the whiteout. We stopped several times, couldn't see the route. Uh, the summit is only about 120 meters below, above us, but it's steep. Lots of snow, it's continuing to fall. So uh, the guys have fixed the prayer flags here, 120 meters short, and we'll head back down. from above, plenty of space for tents. Mm -hmm. 